when thinking about Colombian food, a lot of people assume that it's somewhat similar to Mexican food, but it cannot be further from the truth. The taco, burrito, bean, spicy food, you won't find much of it in Colombia. Actually, I have been thinking that I'll find spicy food, so I was not carrying Tabasco in my pocket, but I think I'll get some <laughs> buffalo sauce for sure. <laughs> so yeah. that's what we're doing today. We're going to explore the Colombian food and we're going to be helped by a local. So today Lorenzo is going to help us with this amazing photo. Can you tell us just a little brief about what we're going to try? We're going to travel around Colombia, yeah. visiting seven different places. I hope you have hungry. Yes, yes, I didn't have breakfast we're today. We're going to try everything. Perfect. Carimagnola, the base of Carimagnola is the yuca. There is a root that grows in Colombia and it's one of the main products of our ancestral communities and we grind it, we make a mass, we put a cheese inside, wrap it and fry it. Aww. It's a fantastic traditional <laughs> recipe yeah, and yeah. snack and it comes with sauce of spice and sour cream. I'm very curious to try with this one. It's really a mild level of spice. I was expecting it to be more cheesy, uh, somewhat similar to the cheese steak we have in uh, Canada and USA. But the, the taste of the cheese, you don't taste it at first. You really have to look for it because it's well mixed with the juca. So you would like it because you don't like it when the cheese is too strong, yeah, right? Yeah. So this is perfect for you. You want to try? Yeah. Mm. Mmm, it's nice, it's my kind of snack. <laughs> you just need some like cold drink or beer with it. I'm good to go. I was actually surprised by the carimagnola because I've heard about the arepa and the empanada, which are two really popular snacks in yes. Colombia. Um, but apparently that this one is also, but a bit more difficult to find, but totally worth it. Absolutely. Ceviche. Ceviche? Ceviche. Ceviche. Ceviche caribeño. It's one of the famous and greatest combinations that we love to eat with some chips of yuca and plantain. Crunchy ah. and delicious. And come with a delicious juice of corozo. That is a fantastic fruit that comes from the palms in the coast. Mmm. This is so much better than nachos. I can feel a bit of a lime and avocado, of course, onion, perfect combination. Now we are in one of the central food markets in Bogota. This is like really old, but four years back, it has been renovated to look a little more European. And we're going to try a dessert here. This is the obleas. It's a okay. kind of wafer. Uh -huh. Fill it with milk, uh, milk caramel. You know about milk caramel? Yes, you have yes, that yes. in Canada. Okay, milk caramel cheese and okay. yam of strawberries. It's okay. a delicious snack. Please enjoy it. I'm not a big fan of sweets, so that's a bit too much on the sweet side for me, but it's good. I think you will like it. So it has some cheese in it, eh? Is this <laughs> cheese or yam. coconut? No, cheese. Cheese, okay. Yam and milk caramel. Mmm, -hmm. mm, it's nice. Welcome to Don del Flaco. Here are one of the best traditional breakfasts of Colombia that have different expression depending on the region of Colombia where you try. Okay. This is the case of the tamales. You uh -huh. can find tamales in Mexico, you can find tamales in the south of Colombia, but you never gonna find the tamales that they do Don del Flaco. Here you have the traditional tamal, one of the most traditional recipes in Colombia. Just open it and wow. feel the smell. I was expecting it to be much smaller and not that big. How do you eat that? It's for, the, it's for two Oh, for two people. It's a mix of pea, carrot, corn flour, and they wrap the chicken 
in this mass, right? It's called a mass. <laughs> and the flavor and comes from the leaf, I guess, if I'm not wrong. The leaf, the planting leaf, gives some flavor to the mass, okay. also the color from the, the turmeric. You get at least three layers of flavor coming in your mouth. I've never tried anything like that. I don't have any referential. Mm. Really nice. It's like something we call kichudi in India. So this goes with hot chocolate. With hot chocolate. That is one of the most winner combinations for breakfast. We love the hot chocolate with one almohana and the tamal. In Colombia, we love heavy breakfast, heavy lunch, and light dinner. So we're stopping here for a minute so I can connect to Wi-Fi because I was waiting on an important email. Yeah, that's a good idea, but make sure you're connected to Surfshark first. Always. And for those who don't know, Surfshark is our go-to VPN and the sponsor of today's video. If you've never heard of a VPN before, it stands for Virtual Private Network, which helps keep you private and secure online by encrypting your internet activity, which is even more important when you're often connecting to public Wi-Fi. And because it encrypts your internet activity, you can connect to public Wi-Fi with peace of mind that your precious data won't be stolen. And you can also do that by getting your own Surfshark VPN by using the link in the description and if you use our code MANOCHAS, you get 83% off and 3 extra months. And in addition to keeping you secure, a VPN also allows you to access content that is unavailable in your current country. And with Surfshark, it's super easy to change your virtual location to access that new content. So if you don't already have a VPN, we highly recommend you Surfshark. It is also the only VPN that offers you one account for unlimited devices. So don't forget to click the link in the description and use our code MANOCHAS. Now we are in Fulanitos, one of the most delicious restaurants of Cauca Valley Gastronomy. Aborrajado, it's a recipe with sweet plantain and cheese. We usually choose the plantain that it's really, really black. We open the plantain, we put a cheese inside and we put it in the oven. But okay. this is nicest because we make a mass of plantain. Okay. We put it with flour around. Okay. Cheese inside and we fry it. Okay, to make okay. it more tender, I guess. Yeah, to make yeah it because it really looks like a nice bread, kind it's of, like or an empanada. Empa 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 like an empanada <laughs> too, could be, yes. Yeah. If I was to speak strictly from an Indian background, it looks like a pakoda. Yes, yeah. but a big one. <laughs> Is this potato? This thing? Yeah, no, inside? no, it's plantain. It? It's plantain. Oh. That is the plantain. Mmm. Oh my god. Oh, this is my favorite one so far. Yeah? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it's like in between a snack and a dessert because it's a bit sweet but not too sweet. Like just perfect for my taste. Okay. It tastes like the apple pastry you get in Vienna, which is called the apple strudel. Yes, strudel. I think you're right. It's yes. actually like strudel. Yeah. yeah. But better. Does it have apple in it also? Or is no. It no. Just no. the plantain, okay. flour, wheat and cheese. It's cooking away, I guess, that the sugar kind of come out more. Yeah, it's the, 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 the dark time when the, when the plantain is dark. Mm -hmm. It's the most sweetest point. From what I understood, Arepa is a very popular street food snack. It's basically made of a cheese. <laughs> Again, there's a small tendency. I think people really like cheese here. And flour. And what else is in Arepa again? Wheat flour and cheese. Wheat flour, flour and, and, and cheese. cheese. Simple. Okay, simple. simple. Wheat flour simple. and cheese. And it's a very old tradition. Yeah, before the colonial time, definitely. Oh. <laughs> Oh, great. <laughs> this is perfect for cheese lover. <laughs> A lot of cheese. It's good. I'm feeling snack. The cathedral, one of the most traditional restaurants in the center of Bogota. Just next to the Bolivar Square, this place offers the best ajiaco in the town. 
Ajiaco. Ajiaco. You know what is ajiaco? You know, I would love no. to see though. That is avocado? This is my kind of avocado. Oh, I know. Well, here you have the ajiaco. This is fresh avocado. We are one of the biggest producers of avocado in Colombia. Mm -hmm. The capers, if it gives contrast and the meal, can give the texture to the soup. In the soup, you can find the chicken, the corn, and the guasca leaf that give the flavor. I've heard also that one thing that makes it special is the three types of potato that are used inside the soup, right? The criolla. That's right, criolla, that in English uh, some people say creole, the mm -hmm. pastusa and the sabanera. Those are the three kinds of potato that are part of the avocado. So I'll try it with the chicken because apparently chicken came only 500 years ago when the Europeans came here, right? Before that it was all vegetarian, I suppose. With quinoa, vegetal with quinoa. protein. With quinoa. Mmm, it's really thick. You can literally feel the mashed potato there, you know? The soup comes really popular around the Andes because we don't have much tubercles and much vegetables, but we cook in one pot traditionally using one fire. That is the ancestral recipe. And one of these ancestral recipes that we preserve is the ajiaco, also the sancocho and the caldo de costilla, that are the main soups that we can find in this side of the Andes, like Bogota. Someone told me also that it has something to do with the weather, right? Because sometimes it can get really cold, especially if you're up in the mountains, so it's always good feeling. To That's right, to right. Usually the Andino cities like Bogota are over the 2,000 meters that make that you are really cold and cold feeling. And the best for a cold feeling is a delicious soup like a hiaco or a sancocho that will be comforting. Okay, we usually, if you like capers, we put the capers in and the cream cheese. Really, really filling. The, the regular bowl, it's massive. Yeah? It's like triple. And do you usually take like a small uh, portion of avocado inside? Or? There's two ways to do it. For example, my sister loved to chop the avocado and put it on. I prefer to eat a bath with salt and I take some portion of rice and put it in the soup and enjoy it. done with our food tour but I really wanted to try one last thing before coffee. finishing the day. Wait, not coffee, hot chocolate, it's oh. in Colombia. Oh yes, hot, yes, yes, yes. Hot chocolate and cheese. Yeah? Yes. This is the famous place for it? But it's one that was highly recommended. Okay, that's what it was. Oh, inside? Yes. The whole of it? Oh, like this? <laughs> <laughs> and then you put inside? Oh no, you dip and eat. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> ah. <laughs> you better get it out then. That was it guys for a small food tour of Bogota, more to come, but if you like the video don't forget to hit the like and share button and for channel support and motivation. Subscribe button and bell icon, thank you so very much for watching.